Pooja, give us a sense on who exactly uh, Natasha Call is. She's a professor of politics, uh, teaches at the Westminster University in London, and we believe that the BJP has vociferously uh, denied or condemned her entry into India, denied, in fact, the, they say, the immigration officials say they got orders up from Delhi in Bengaluru not to allow her into the country. Give us a background of what are her views precisely. So, Nabila, Professor Natasha Kaul is the overseas citizen of India, which means she has that OCI card, but she's been, she's Indian origin, but based abroad, specifically in England. Now, she is a professor at the University of Westminster. These are her official credentials. But presently, because it's become a BJP Congress issue, let me give you a backdrop on some of her writings. For example, in 2016, uh, Natasha Kaul had written From Funeral to Freedom, How India is Desperate to Possess Kashmir. So her, her point policy, her writings have been extremely critical of India, specifically on Kashmir. I can also say she has had very clear and blatant pro-separatist views. Uh, she has held uh, uh, the, the terror network in Kashmir as a rightful, justified armed uprising. She has constantly stood in support of the separatist leaders and has never called out the terror network, the terrorism that has inflicted Kashmir Valley for decades, which had led to the killing, massacre and exodus of the Kashmiri Pandits community. She is, in fact, uh, in a way suggested that Kashmiri pundits and the, the, uh, the violence against them was simply collateral damage. Also, uh, you would remember that at the U.S. congressional hearing, specifically at the U.S. Committee of Foreign Affairs of Human Rights in Jammu and Kashmir in 2019, Professor Natasha Kaul had represented uh, the anti-India's uh, anti policy view uh, at the congressional hearing and had not said a word about jihadist terrorism or extremism but had clearly targeted uh, the Indian government for abrogating Article uh, 370 and despite the changes that were seen later as well, there was no mention. She consistently maintains that uh, there is a fight for freedom in Kashmir. Also to add here, uh, remember that this is very interesting, I must mention here, Nabila, that while this is a BJP Congress issue, her, and she may want to claim that she is because target or critical of Modi or RSS or BJP. That's why this action has been taken against Professor Natasha Kaul. But the fact remains, even during the UPA era, she has, had, uh, she has held critical views on India. And it's interesting to see that even though she targeted UPA earlier, it is the Congress government in Karnataka that has called her and invited her to speak now that she has been denied. But her views have been very clear on Kashmir that it was... Uh, she ignores what Pakistan has yeah. done, but very clearly maintains that this is a justified fight for freedom. All right. Pooja, stay with us. I'm cutting to Anagha. Anagha, uh, invite that was sent out to Natasha Call. She's uh, accepted the invite, landed into Bengaluru uh, just yesterday. She cried foul, saying there was absolutely no notification that was given to her that she's not allowed to enter India. As soon as she arrived, the immigration official said she has to go back. And she says that they were hinting at the fact that I'm not being allowed into India because of my critical views on the RSS. That's what she states on her X platform. Well, Nabila, this professor that we're talking about, Nitasha Kaur, she's a professor who specialized in international relations and politics. She claims that she was held in Bengaluru International Airport for more than 24 hours. And she also claims that she was not given food or water. Easy access to food or water was not given. She cries foul, stating that the way that she was treated in Bangalore by the KIL authorities, the airport authorities, was really bad and that she did not deserve this kind of treatment. She also goes on to add that the immigration officers they vaguely stated that there were certain orders from Delhi and that's why they cannot allow Mrs. Call to enter Bengaluru and to even touch down in India. So hence she was held in Bengaluru airport for close to 24 hours post that she was sent back on a flight to UK is what we're hearing and she also says that it is because of the fact that she does not subscribe to RSS ideology she does not you know, subscribe to BJP and that's where they are playing politics is what Natasha is alleging and now in Bangalore politics has, break, has broken out between the BJP and Congress with the Congress government seriously questioning the idea of democracy in India they are stating that isn't one allowed to give free speech is this even a federal system or where is the question of democracy is what the Congress is questioning.
right? Uh, well, we've got to see if there will be a clarification from the centre on this or not. But so far, the BJP has condemned Nitasha being invited into Karnataka itself, saying she holds pro-Pakistan views. Uh, this is a fall for the Congress government, while Congress firing the dictator jibe at Prime Minister Modi.